Tell me, Nils, are you just as excited as I am when it comes to this Cobra theme auction? I surely am. For this auction, we have gathered well over 100 works by the artists related to the Cobra group, established around 1950 by Danish, Dutch and Belgian artists. And please tell me, Nils, is there a special story or pronouns when it comes to this painting? Yes, surely. It was acquired by the present owner's parents directly from Jorn in the mid-50s um, and has been in the same uh, family uh, ever since. You seem so excited about this painting. I surely am. I think it is a magnificent piece from an important and uh, rarely offered period in the artist's production. It's a very powerful painting. It is. What an impressive selection of jewelry and watches, and I assume it's for our upcoming Christmas auction. It is. It's very exciting. We have a wide selection of jewelry this time. Uh, I would like to focus uh, on telling you about this ring, a large diamond solitaire ring. It is uh, over 9 carats, 9.29 carats to be exact, and a diamond of this size is very rare to come on the market, especially in Denmark. Uh, it's in the old European cut, uh, which uh, gives us lots of, we call fire. Uh, mm -hmm. When the light enters the stone, it flashes back in rainbow colors. So it gives it a truly stunning visual appearance. I think that cut makes for a truly stunning ring. It must be the perfect Christmas gift for the wife or the girlfriend. Yes, I'd say so. She's a very lucky girl, the woman who receives this. Do you think there's space under the Christmas tree for it? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Peter, tell me, why have you chosen these three chairs? What we're looking at here is like the instant tour of Nordic design. This is three design icons from the three countries which to me define the Nordic design. We have Finland with the Alto chair, mm -hmm. Finn Juhl with, uh, with the Chieftain chair from Denmark, and then the 1980 Jonas Bolin chair from Sweden. So this is the three countries and three different periods, which is very important in the story of the Nordic design. Well, this is like the instant start of a museum collection. This is what, if you're starting a new museum of design, Nordic design in particular, this would be the obvious place to start. You, you have like some of the most important bases covered with these three chairs. So, rare pieces. So, this is the place to start? I would say yes. <laughs> What a beautiful vase, Torben. Yes, Frederick. It's a Chinese vase. Yes. And it's a Meiping vase. It's a 15th century. It's a, we refer it to the reign of Yangle, which is in the, during the first two decades of the 15th century. And it's in mint condition. Wow. The design of it is with fruits, various kinds of fruits. It's uh, peaches and cherries and other kind of fruits with uh, lotus uh, leaves here at the top rim and uh, palm leaves at the bottom. And what about, is there a provenance, a story about this vase? Yes, there is a Danish provenance. It was okay. bought in the 30s, 1930s in China by uh, Tay Rüdiger Smith, who was the uh, director of the Danish Asiatic Company in China. The, the, the trading company. Exactly. And he brought it back to Denmark in, I believe, in the 60s or 70s. So it's been in, in, in the same family collection for nearly 100 years? Yes. I 
I would like to show you this unique collection of drawings and paintings by Marie Koyer. Marie Koyer, she's the wife to P.S. Koyer, right? The famous Danish painter from Skagen, P.S. Koyer, exactly. Yes. And this is from the period in her life in the 1880s. It's found only 20 years ago in an attic in Sweden. And uh, we are selling 31 works, paintings and drawings on our next auction. At this time, women could, were not allowed at the Royal Academy of Fine Art. So they had to study at private schools and uh, she started in Copenhagen and then later on she went to Paris and started under the famous French painter Puvis de Savannes. And uh, in Paris she met Pierre Croyer and they married in 89. This is one of my favourite paintings. It's from uh, Marie Esté in Paris when she, where she went to the school of Puvis de Savannes and here she could paint after totally uh, naked male models. Okay. In, in, in Denmark they have to be uh, covered in a loincloth. Because she was painting in such a sh short period of time mm. and she was not a very productive artist, uh, it's very rare to see her works on auction. If you would like to own a, 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 a work of art by Marie Coyle, then you then have it's, to... It's time to do the shopping exactly, now. Exactly. <laughs>